Okay, in this video, we'll be doing a few practice problems for sum and difference for tangent. First problem, find the exact value of tangent 15 degrees. So we're trying to find a couple values that either add or subtract to get us 15. And again, by applying the 45 rule, for lack of a better word. So if we took 15 minus the 45, that gives us 30. There we go. 45 minus the 30 actually gives us 15. So that's the numbers we'll be using. 45 minus 30, 15. So our new problem, set of tan 15 degrees, is now tangent 45 degrees minus 30 degrees because we're using the difference. So we'll be using the difference formula. There's tan u, tan v, subtraction on the top because the original subtraction addition on the bottom. So in this case the u will be the 45 and the v will be 30. So we'll just substitute everything in. So there's my u 45 v 30 u 45 v 30. So we'll be using the values of tan of 45 and tan 30. So let's look up those values. There's 45 and 30. There's tangent. So we're using radical 3 over 3 for 30 and 1 for 45. So 1 for 45, there's a 1 for 45 and radical 3 over 3. 1 for 45, radical 3 over 3. Let's simplify. That gives us 1 plus radical 3 over 3 all over 1 plus radical 3 over 3. So the first was minus, my mistake. Well, let's see what the calculator tells us for this. So let's clear this. Put in the calculator, and we're doing the 1 minus on top. So 1 minus radical 3 over 3 on top, and 1 plus, that's my fraction, radical 3 over 3. Calculator tells us negative radical 3 plus 2. There's our answer, negative radical 3 plus 2. All right, next problem. Tangent, 105 degrees. So again, I use my little 45 strategy. 105, let's say minus 45. So we got 60. So 60 and 45 add up to be 105. 45 plus 60. So instead of tan 105, tan 45 plus 60. So we'll be using the addition identity. So if it's addition, that means addition's on top, subtraction's on the bottom. So in this case, u is going to be 45, and v is going to be 60. Let's substitute everything in. There's the 45 and 60, 45, 60. So the values we'll be looking for, we just need to know a tan of 60, because we already know tan of 45 from the last problem is 1. Just to confirm, 45, tangent is 1, 60, tangent is radical 3. So substitute the values in. There's our 1. There's the radical 3. 1 times radical 3 on the bottom. So numerator 1 plus radical 3. Denominator 1 minus radical 3. All right, just substitute into the calculator. All right, we're doing plus on top. 1 plus radical 3 on my numerator and 1 minus radical 3 and the denominator. So negative radical 3 minus 2. Negative radical 3 minus 2. All right, another problem. Now let's use radians. Find the exact value of tan negative 5 pi over 12. So again, we'll consider the 3 strategy. 45 for degrees, 3 pi over 12 for radians. So uh, looks like what's that? 8. So 3 minus 8 is negative 5. There we go. 3 pi over 12 minus 8 pi over 12 gives us the negative 5 pi over 12. So we'll be using the subtraction identity. In this case, u is going to be the pi over 4, which is the 3 pi over 12 reduced, and the v will be 2 pi over 3, which is the 8 pi over 12 reduced. So what was negative 5 pi over 12 is now 
3 pi over 12 minus 8 pi over 12. So you could use these values or the simplified values, which is pi over 4 or 2 pi over 3. So we'll be looking for, let's substitute everything in. There's the pi over 4, 2 pi over 3. So we just need to find the tangent, 2 pi over 3, and the tangent of pi over 4. We should know tangent pi over 4, there's our 1 again, and 2 pi over 3 is right here, negative radical 3. All right, let's substitute those values in. This would be the 1, negative radical 3. Now be careful, it says minus, so subtraction is still my operation here. The value for tan 2 pi over 3 is negative radical 3. So when we simplify everything, that gives us 1 plus radical 3 on top and 1 minus radical 3 in the denominator. I think we just did that one a second ago. 1 plus radical 3 on top, 1 minus radical 3, so there's our answer again. Negative radical 3 minus 2. All right, one more. Find the exact value of tan 13 pi over 12. Using the 3 strategy, that will give us 10, because 10 and 3 makes 13. There's our 10 pi over 12, 3 pi over 12. So, we'll be using the sum version of the sum of the identity here. In this case, u will be 5 pi over 6, which is the 10 pi over 12 reduced, and the v is pi over 4, which is the 3 pi over 12 reduced. So the original problem of 13 pi over 12 expands to 10 pi over 12 plus 3 pi over 12. So either this version or the simplified version. 5 pi over 12, pi over 4. So when we substitute everything into the formula, we'll just need to determine the value for tan of 5 pi over 6. Because by now we should know the tan of pi over 4 is going to be the 1. So let's see what 5 pi over 6 is. 5 pi over 6. There we go. 5 pi over 6. Tangent. Negative radical 3 over 3. So there's a negative radical 3 over 3 plus the 1. 1 minus negative radical 3 over 3 times the 1. So when we simplify, there's 1 minus radical 3 over 3 over 1 plus radical 3 over 3. It was the minus on top. So let's clear. So 1 minus radical 3 over 3 on top. And 1 plus. That's that radical 3 over 3 on the bottom. Calculator says negative radical 3 plus 2. There we go. All right. And you have a few independent problems to practice.